It is a calorie in, calorie out approach. Are you one of the countless number of people counting every single calorie? Even one day of that can leave you frustrated and wondering if it's sustainable. Well, enter Fit Diesel. Founder Matt Estridge and his wife Nikki say it's not about calorie restriction. It's about knowing your body and your metabolism. It's any food approach. It's a science approach. We build your metabolism and we don't aggressively diet you. We don't crash diet you. According to their website, Fit Diesel focuses on rehabilitating a client's metabolism. They say no guessing, no equations, just science. What is your metabolism? And not by a calculator, not by a BMR or TDE calculator. What is it? Nobody really knows. <laughs> and they don't know. Matt founded the company and has quite the impressive resume, including his previous position as strength coach with the University of Tennessee. He was also the Department of Homeland Security Field Office Fitness Coordinator. He's made some great contacts along the way and has some pretty high profile clients. Shane Bonham in the NFL six years, D1 college athlete, Mr. Olympia, Colin Congo. He's actually, uh, I actually have him, it's his peak week. Uh, he's one of the Mr. America this weekend. Um, Miss Tennessee, of course. Fit Diesel offers a science-based approach to their clients, no matter if it's an NFL player or a stay-at-home mom. What we do, the most important thing is we empower women. That's my main goal. For some women, stepping on the scale can be empowering or a huge letdown. I want them to see that the scale is a data marker, means nothing else to the significance of your life, that there is any food you can eat there's no food off limits. While no food is off limits, you still have to make smart food choices and be careful when it comes to cheat meals or cheat days. This is how many calories I have a week for my metabolism, and this is how I'm gonna spend them. And when people overeat on the weekend and diet during the week- The overdraft. <laughs> you, you, they typically overeat and you come back to normal or even gain some sometimes, and it's, it's emotionally defeating. Just one look at this insanely fit couple and you would think they spend hours in the gym each and every day but you'd be wrong. I like to do yoga for like cathartic reasons and for stretching. I do that a couple times a week, but I'm in here, whether it's doing rings or body, you know, just you can- The leg workouts. The leg works out, the leg workout twice a week. I'm in here 25 minutes, th two to three times a week. And, and that physique. And I promise you that's- that, That's the look we get, that one right yeah. there. If I can look like that, sign me up. The couple also introduced me to a new term that I had never heard of, but I think is pretty neat. It's called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. What that means is it's me talking right now. It's blinking, it's standing, it's doing chores, it's taking care of kids. NEAT can be up to 600 and 700 calories a day. Well, 500 calories times seven is a pound of fat Roughly. a week. Okay, so wait, we can look like these two without having to live in the gym and burn calories by doing housework and making dinner? And it's still okay to step on a scale? It sounds like some sort of alternate reality. So you recommend getting on that scale at least a few times? Um, you cannot assess your metabolism without doing it. It's gonna be a mind shift though. You can't put your significance in that number, whether it's great or not optimal.